at this time we're going to go. Higher, for yes, sir. Could we go back to item one for just a minute? <laughs> Give me an opportunity to say something. I didn't come planning to do this, but this is an opportunity we're, we're talking here, and this is a good time for us to share. I don't know if y'all are aware, back when we started paying EMTs, we had to change the EMT service to the Sunnyville County Department. At that time, the fire department asked us to convert them into a Sunnyville County Department, too. So now they're, they're Sunnyville County Fire and Rescue supported the volunteers. Our, not Ron and not our outside, but our council down in Texas, uh, judges and commissioners council, uh, Jim Allison, he tells us that we need to, we all to come to us with mutual aid agreements in order for us to be able to legally furnish fire and rescue in the city limit. And we mentioned it to Andy, and I don't know if he said anything to y'all, and right now we have no statutes that allow us to find fire and rescue in the city limits. As I said when I brought this up in court some weeks ago, to you know we have no intent cutting off the service, but you know it would probably help us if, if you know if y'all come to over in mutual aid world. And, and the problem with that, though, Judge, is that then we're double taxing because the citizens of Glen Rose are. We're not talking about taxing or anything. We're, no, we're but talking if we're about giving it. I mean, because we do already provide some support. You know, it's not, it's not a big support, but we do provide support to them also. We're spending over $800,000 a year. And we're not asking for support. We're asking for a mutual aid agreement that allows us to come into your city. And, and I, I guess I don't know, what, is that just a written thing that we just ask? Okay, and that has to be done. Just for the order. Yeah. For the, you know, to that, the if it is some unusual expenses or something, then you might have to pick it up. I, I, I've got them from all, we've got them from all the counties around us uh, and the cities, you know, where we go in and help them. And, you, know, you can look at one of those. I didn't bring them. Because I really didn't mean to bring this up tonight, but I thought everybody's gone in good time. We can just visit here and, 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 and you know, we, we don't mind helping. We just, I guess we just kind of need to see what it is. But it's not so much helping as, you know, it's just, just that, that agreement. You know, normally, you know, we're a bottom-up community. Right. Normally, all of these services that we furnish, the city normally furnishes it, and then the county supports them. And well, because of the tax issue, the, the county has furnished all these sources to you. And there's just legalities that have to be made. And, he, you know, he told us that we really, you know, liability-wise, we are hanging out there right now that we are a county department. Of course, we should have always been. We've been spending all the money, but we called it a volunteer department. You know. But, you know, this year we'll spend $800,000 in fire and rescue. So, Is that more than normal? Or? No, that's just what it's grown up to. When you went to, had to go, you know, to uh, pay EMTs, you know, and we couldn't get the service any other way. The fire department's only about 200000 plus whatever equipment they want. But, you know, it's you know, we pay them for training, we pay their uniforms, we pay so them. I think. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to bring this up. Y'all can do what you want to. You, you know, we, we no, ask you. And then, you know. it, it's kind of a strange thing because since it's not a, since it's a county, and we're all still right. members of the county, you know, that's, that's, that's the whole thing because it's not a, a private service that a lot of places have. And so, but and I think if you'll investigate into it, you know, it's not very, and if we were asking for money, it would still would be true. But the main thing, you know, uh, most counties that furnish services to the city, they pay for it. Most counties that furnish dispatch system to the city, they pay for it. Most counties that furnish, just like y'all pay for jail space. Just because you say a double taxation isn't really the, the case. In normal, if you look into it, when you, Counties furnish you services for cities, they pay for it. You can check in here. Even though we're paying county taxes too. Right. Well, do we need Andy to write something? Well, I think so, yeah. yeah, Andy and, could, yeah. Really and I'll be glad to give you one of the ones we got from the other counties to look at on this. It's just a, it's a more of a liability deal than anything else. It's the way I understand it. Let's Okay. Okay, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you.